what do you think it is that's that's driving kind of that that resurgence? Uh, the appreciation for less. In the same way that vinyl had its heyday, its decline, and then a resurgence, it appears film is going through the same thing. So much so that a new film development lab has opened up. It's called Memento Film Lab in Toronto's West End near Ossington and Dundas. James Lai, one of the lab's co-founders, says the market for film development is growing again. And that after six months in business, he and his co-founder, Helder, are making a go of it, thanks to both local and mail-in customers. One part-timer and one intern are now part of the team as well. Yeah, it's definitely happening. It gets busier every day. He says the pair previously worked together and shared a passion for photography and film. Helder and I both grew up in a period where, as younger people, we would get our film developed and we would get it printed and we would get to see the results. And I feel like a lot of our customers are younger uh, and they have never experienced that. So we're kind of giving that back to them. You said something really interesting. I, I think if you ask people, who do you think is going to get film developed? You might assume somebody who is much older, but you're saying it's actually it's people who are much younger. younger. Yeah, it's yeah. younger. And a lot of it is their first time shooting a film camera. This space, can you just kind of show us around, give us a sense of what, what's in here? This is our front space, which is like a multi-purpose space. This is where um, the majority of interactions happen with customers. This over here is our pr main production area. If you come back here, this is what I like to call our wet lab. This is where we do a few different types of films. So we do your general black and white, and then we also do a really cool film called uh, slide film or positive film, where instead of a negative, you get a positive. And that is done uh, by hand on this machine here. A lot of people back in the day would shoot this type of film on like a vacation, and then when they get back home, get it developed, and then have like a little you know family gathering where they project all the different photos. Uh, this is our uh, our little um, passion project. Uh, it's a real functioning darkroom. Helder explaining one of the tricky parts of opening up is actually getting the kind of equipment to do this kind of work. It, they, they don't make this new, right? So a lot of these machines are 20, 30 years old. When this equipment breaks, really breaks one day in the future, do you think they'll be making it again? Or do you think you can kind of jerry-rig it forever? Yeah, yeah. That's something, something to consider when you're opening a film lab, for sure. There are some companies that are actually starting to develop new film cameras, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and even new equipment to develop, to scan. For City News, I'm David Zura.